Welcome to the Solar Decathlon Minute. This is day seven out of nine for the assembly process. With only two days left to complete inspections, the pressure is on. Here is event director Richard King to introduce today's stories. Well, UC Davis designed their house for a farm, not a parking lot. Team Orange County actually designed their house for this parking lot. We are Team Aggie Soul with UC Davis. This is our first time competing in the Department of Energy's Solar Decathlon. Now the ideal assembly strategy for this home is it would be set on a dirt location in some agricultural setting. Because we're on an asphalt setting and not on dirt, this particular application was less effective. Uh, the roller systems required going a little bit lower just due to the slope. Well, we fixed the problem by dropping the axles and dragging them from under Mod B. Uh, once that was done, we had about an extra eight inches of room underneath the house that we could lower it. Uh, we only needed four. At that point, we can bring the home together and lift it up very slowly until the juncture between the two homes is perfectly met and we have 24 uh, six inch long bolts on the bottom and 24 bolts on the top. And that is the structural connection between our two houses. It's extremely quick and extremely easy. So that's how it's supposed to go. How did it go here? Now, when I said they had to line up perfectly, this is what I was referring to. Here we have mod A and here we have mod B. This is the point where they had to match up perfectly. It is so important to get this right that the team wanted assurance from someone with experience. So we invited onto our team as a mentor, an expert for the modular home industry. The expert told us that this home came together in such a flush and fluid manner, he's never seen an installation go so well. We are Team Orange County. Uh, our house is Casa del Sol, and this is our first time ever competing in the Sol Decathlon. So part of our assembly strategy was to design our ramps for the topography here, uh, and then we pre-built them at our location over IVC. Reason for that being is obviously they assemble faster, um, and we, uh, we had custom in-house ramps designed such that uh, we could have our south facing, our front entrance ramp, built without handrails. The reason we did this is as the public enter the competition site, our house is the first thing they see on the southeastern side, and we didn't want handrails obscuring the view of our house and taking away from our architecture. So Casa del Sol should be looking good to the public, but how are they looking on completion deadlines? So our biggest challenge with respect to assembly though um, was the fact that we didn't modulize our utility room, uh, which is an extension of our carport. Building out our carport, getting our utility room up and running is really important because we have some exotic mechanical, electrical, and plumbing systems, kind of first of its kind, never been done before in a residential application. Now in order to really do that effectively, we need as many days as possible to bring our systems back online and test them. And then the other uh, extension of that challenge though we face is inspections, and uh, there's a whole slew of them we have to run through, and really they're all going to be compressed in the last day or two in order to make sure that we pass an open for uh, competition. That's it for today's Solar Decathlon Minute. Subscribe now to the City of Irvine's YouTube channel to receive daily updates right to your phone or inbox. And mark your calendars to visit the Orange County Great Park so you can tour the most advanced, self-sufficient solar homes on the planet and meet the forward-thinking college students that designed and built them.